So Switzerland, I like to think that we're the coolest mission in the world um, because we don't just teach Swiss people, we teach everyone. Um, and that's something that you don't know before you get there. If you serve in Switzerland, you're not called to serve just Swiss people, you're called to serve the world. <laughs> um, and I mean that very, very literally. I've taught almost a person from every single country. I mean, you name it, I've, I've probably taught them Sri Lanka, Madagascar, you know, you teach people from Ukraine, Russia, which means that you have these Book of Mormons, you know, or Books of Mormon in every language <laughs> in your apartment. Every apartment has about, has at least one copy of every language Book of Mormon, which is pretty cool. You know, it's fun to wake up in the morning and you realize you're going to give away a Chinese Book of Mormon. So you pack the Chinese one. Or you're going to give away a Turkish Book of Mormon. So you pack a Turkish one. Um, or even um, packing an Arabian Book of Mormon. There's not many people in the world who can say that they've done that, you know, where they can meet a person who's a refugee from, say, Afghanistan and pack that Book of Mormon and give it to him and let him read it in his own language even though the book is backwards and it's facing it's going the wrong direction you know it's it's just cool it's very very international mission it's very exciting and so that's why I mean it was kind of like a a joke within our mission that like whenever people say oh the church isn't in China yet it's like well that doesn't really matter because they're in Switzerland <laughs> You know, the, the gospel is spreading around the world and it doesn't have to be in the geographic locations around the world for it to be spread around the world. Because the truth is, is that the Chinese are getting the scriptures. You know, people from, from Iraq are receiving the gospel. Um, and it's not, it's not a barrier for us to not be able to go to those countries because they'll come to us. You know, they'll come where the gospel is, and in turn, they'll bring the gospel the gospel back to back to them. So the gospel's already spread around the world. Around the world, it doesn't need to actually be at the location.